So my friends, I want to solve question for under this physics topic where they call Newton's second law of motion. This this one under second law of motion. Question say a body of mass. Let's bring out the parameter. They don't give you mass. Say mass now on 150 grams undergoes a constant horizontal acceleration of 20 acceleration a equal to 20 meter per second squared calculate the resultant horizontal force acting the resultant horizontal equal to waiting now we see the fine calculate the resultant horizontal force acting on the body so you know newton's second law of motion newton's second law of motion say mass times acceleration equal to the horizontal the summation of the or uh, that the resultant force or to keep it simple we just could say force equal to mass times acceleration i think they used to this one why are they two use this one because at the user when they derived the nevia stokes equation you know you have that nevia stokes equation your yeah. stokes equation then they carry predict weather even the current for water idb they can't predict too many things so if you want to derive the nevia stokes equation the two equation will be you know the divergence of a vector feed equal to zero the second one now where they apply the second newton second law of motion where they very important where we say the density of multiplied by the acceleration equal hey what are they do sorry this is not before your level man over they derive with no concern you know vex so what you will talk here we say mass they don't give us as 150 guys you know say we like user for kilograms so you go convert this 150 gram to kilogram Short way if you do, I just say divide 150 by 1000 because why? 1000 gram, nine they give us one kilogram, and then 150, 150 gram equal to x. We don't know what 150 gram will give us for kilograms, so we put on like x. If you cross multiply this thing like this, you get x times 1000. I did just show you how these things they work. 150 times this one will be 150 gram times kilogram. So if you divide both sides by 1000 like this. 1000 gram 1000 gram you see that thing was made divided by 1000 this one and this one will cancel x now will be equal to you see say gram and gram will cancel 150 zero zero will cancel 15 divided by 100 will give us 0 0.15 so yeah we can't get f equal to 0 0.15 for the mass times acceleration will be 20. show you the understand what they tell you so now if you multiply these two things we give you if you divide this one by this one has one to 15 over 100 times 20. 20 will go into 100. How many times? Five times. So 15 divided by five will give you three. So the answer will be three Newton. Option D. You understand what I don't teach you now? <laughs> I share the video.